Hello everyone, welcome back to our sessions. Today we will be discussing about Power BI. So today the session will be on Power BI parameters. So as we know or if you don't know then like parameters are very helpful like in limiting the data and this way we can even filter the data based on our like user defined values. So we will see that how to load the parameters or how to create the parameters and how to enable them. So this starts with loading the data. So first of all, like we have logged into our like uh, Power BI desktop. So here, if you see that, like uh, we can see all our the screen, we can see the visualizations, we can see the fields panel and everything. So the first thing will be load the data. So what I'll do, I'll just load one of the files here, Superstore subset. So this subset file will allow me to load data into my Power BI desktop. So here, like as soon as the data is loaded, here I can see that like I have three sheets basically in this particular file, so orders, returns, and users. I will select the orders file here, order sheet, and this is how my data looks like. So this way, it helps me to see that like what is the preview of my data, okay? And after that, if I have to do any kind of like a power query operations, I just can go ahead and say click on transform data. So transform data is nothing but power query. So I'll just click on like load for now. And as soon as like the data is loaded, we will see all our fields up here in this field panel. So uh, if you can see that it's showing us like data loading, creating model and everything. And once the data is loaded, it will be showing up here in fields. So data is loaded here. And now we can start like uh, creating our reports and everything according to the requirements. The first thing like what I will try to do it, like just, uh, I will just create a a bar chart so here like I have created a bar chart and I'll take sales here and I will take a uh, region so where is my region here is my region here so I'll take sales by region so here if you can see that I have data for four regions central east west and south and along with this what I'll do I'll just bring up our uh, states so states I'll bring and drop it along with region so this way I can see that I can see that like uh, I'll have data for all the regions and their states. So just, just for the confirmation purpose that we are able to see all the regions and all their states. Now let's suppose we have to limit the data for a particular region okay, or particular value. So what we will do we have to put some parameters. So how do we add the parameters in Power BI. So we will see that. So for that we have to do and we have to create a parameter. So where do we create parameter I don't see any option here. I don't see any option in insert modeling okay so here if I see that new parameter I can create the parameter from here itself so just say new parameter okay so like here this will allow me to do it but we have a different option here so if I go to home and uh, I'll just click on transform data so I will just click on transform data here and then I will have an option of parameters so manage parameters basically so if I can just click on this and this way I can create new parameters so right now we don't have any parameter what I'll do I'll just click on new and I'll give this name as region parameter okay so this way like uh, region parameter is added so here if you see that like uh, description is there and you can put some description that like uh, this parameter is used for this and all XYZ and next we have the checkbox so this checkbox will allow us to make it mandatory or not mandatory basically so if you want to open this report you want your user to feed in some parameter then you can just check it otherwise like you can leave it as I'm unchecked then what kind of parameter value you want to fetch in basically so that is like type of the value so here we have the region parameter region value so obviously it will be the text value or you can just put in any value okay it's, it's up to you but for us like we will take it as text value because region is our text type then you can take suggest any values list of uh, values or query any value means like user will be able to type any value which is not an ideal solution ideal option here so we will say list of values now under list of values I'll start typing the values here so I'll say east I'll say south I'll say west I'll say central so I have four regions here so that's the reason I have given up four values here uh, next thing what I'll do I'll just say default value I'll make it as east and current value I'll make it as south so this way default value it means like uh, what all whenever this report will be open it will be open along only with east region when right now this data will be filtered only for south so this way like it, there's a difference between 
our default value and current value I'll just say on ok I click on ok and region parameter is created here next thing what we have to do we have to see the data if you see I I can see all the data for regions but we have created parameter but why data is not filtered it means like we have not linked our parameter with that region column so what we'll do we'll just click on this small like uh, square box here just click on that you will get a lot many options here just go to text filter say equals okay and as soon as you say equals like you will get option to basic or advanced under advanced basic like you have one value under advanced you can put multiple parameters and all that stuff okay so here like I'll select the parameter we have only one parameter that's the reason it's showing up here if we have multiple parameters then we can choose under this like you have like end or all conditions if you want like any either this or like other value then it's up to your requirement okay so now region parameter is set here I'll just click on okay as soon as I click on okay I got a new step added here filtered rows and if you notice that my whole data set is filtered only for the south region okay so this way the parameter is added we will just say close and apply and here if we come we will see only south bar here so all other bars will be like removed from here it means data is filtered completely and southern region like we are having that like uh, the total sales is 15 million okay so that way so it is giving us only southern region data so we can just expand this and we will see uh, we will see only southern states only so this way like uh, we are clear that our parameter is working so here we have the data uh, loaded for only for South region but this option is not like a good option where like you want your values to be or parameter to be adjusted according to the values whatever are feeded in the backend database means if you might have the new regions or you might have like one of uh, more regions like re removed from the well column region column so this way like uh, this parameter option will not be feasible so it will not be an ideal solution so what we will do we will have another option which helps us to get the dy values dynamically updated so that option is query option so what I'll do I'll just go to the transform data I already have this region here first thing what I need to do I just need to remove this particular like, filter which I have already added in the region column so I can just go ahead and say to my region column so here I have region column and I just need to do uh, just say add as new query so this way the add as new query option like creates a query here so basically this is like a region I uh, giving me here so I'll just say and other than this like what I need to do here is like remove duplicates so this way like what happens a list is created so this is having today four values tomorrow it might have 10 values 20 values 30 values 100 values it it will automatically update okay so that is one of the very very option good option so I'll just rename it so I'll say region okay I'll say region list so this is nothing but like my query so what I'll do, I'll just say region parameter and uh, I'll say uh, edit or you can modify your parameters basically. So where you have this manage parameters, say added parameters. Okay, so you have this, uh, you can define the value here, which I don't want right now. So I just need to say manage parameters and manage parameters here. So now instead of list of values, what I'll do, I'll just say query. So when I say query, if I click on this, I will have this region list a query, which I have just created okay so value can be anything so here you can just put up south central whatever value you want but this will be based on the list option only the query option remember so it's one of the very important functionality in power bi so now say okay okay and uh, here you have the south okay and now you can just go ahead and do your orders sheet okay go back to your region column and just click on this square box again say text filters say equals and here again parameter and region parameter instead of region parameter like uh, you can just select any you you could have created another uh, parameter also but I'm I have modified only the original parameter itself say okay so here you the data is only coming for region and if you want to change the value and all you can just define the value to something else let's say I'll say for now central I'll say okay and the value is changed so as soon as you do it like your data will be changed so just click close and apply and uh, after the changes are applied, we will see all the states of uh, central only. So here you see Illinois, Texas, like Michigan, Indiana, and all that, all those part of your uh, central region. So if I click on this, so this way, like I can easily see that like uh, uh, which states, which uh, values are coming up here. So only for central region. So this is another very good option, like here where you can just 
uh, pull up the data based on your selection so now let's say let's go ahead and save this for now okay let's check out uh, saving this so I'll just say file and I will say save as I'll save it as PBIT file remember I'm saving it as a PBIT file I'll say uh, parameter I'll say demo so I'll say parameter demo okay say okay so save this so I'll save it on my desktop okay save this so it is saved so just give something like say test here description say save it now what will happen like this PBIT file is saved now I'll just close this completely okay so here like I'm just closing this uh, okay so we are back to our uh, parameters so I'll just click on the parameter demo this is the PBIT file remember just now we saved it and when I'll open it it will ask me that which value you want to load means what data you want to load it so here you see that uh, it's asking me so select the parameter so instead of test you should have given like uh, select the parameter or something whatever you want okay some text information I'll say west so this time I'm loading data for west I'll say load and here we are so this way like the data only for west will be loaded you can apply these parameters to your databases to your other sources your SQL server or any other like databases so this way like it helps us to load data uh, for, for our selected values selected uh, values basically selected columns so this is something like very important like when you are doing some kind of uh, reporting and you want to optimize your uh, reports basically so that's all for now like if you have any questions you can just post it here and i hope like uh, you like this video like, like this functionality and uh, hopefully like we'll be seeing new videos with new options and new functionalities thank you very much have a great day ahead